let's add custom items to Minecraft. All right, we found ourselves back in Shelter once more, and in this tutorial, we're going to be adding custom items to Minecraft. Now, this is actually a fairly straightforward process, at least for adding the items. After we've added the item, we're also going to add a custom creative mode tab because this has changed in 193. But for this, we need to, in the tutorial mode package, right click new package, and we're going to call this the item package. Inside of there, we're going to make a new Java class called the mod items class. And inside of here, all of the magic will happen. First of all, we're going to need a public static final deferred register. So written like this, 1F2Rs, uh, net microforge registries. And then we can just hit the tab key to autocomplete this. It will then import the correct class and that's going to be fine. We then need the angle brackets here and we need to put an item. Very important that we put an item net Minecraft world item and then just hit the tab key again and it will import the class. If this is not imported, then the class will appear red and you can just click on it, press Alt and Enter and hit import class. Once again, making sure that we choose the correct one from net Minecraft world item and then everything should be fine. We want to call this items. This is going to be equals to the third register. So we can see it already suggests this to us. When it suggests this to us, we can just hit the tab key dot gate. And once again, all of this is basically just done by hitting the tab key when it suggests what we want to put in here. We want to put in here is forge registries and tab to autocomplete dot items comma tutorial mod. And then once again, we just hit the tab key to autocomplete dot mod ID and then just end it with a semicolon. And there we go. Now, all of the code is, of course, also available in the description below in the GitHub repository. So you can double check that as well. And you can copy that over if you don't want to type everything out yourself. We need a public static void register method with an I event bus or event bus. And we want to call inside of this items dot register passing in the event bus parameter here. And then in the tutorial mod class, inside of the tutorial mod constructor, we want to call the register method. We're just going to add this here or items dot register and then passing in the event bus right here. And then we can proceed to actually add the item. Now, how do we add an item? Well, this is going to be a public static final registry object, right? You can see this one once again, heading tab to import the class angle brackets of type item. And this is going to be the black underscore opal. This is equal to items dot register. And now very important, I'm now going to put in the name. This is a string and we have to put in the quotation marks. Now, when I put in the quotation marks, you can see this bus appear. This appears automatically and you don't have to type this out. Now, the name is going to be black underscore opal. And then after the closing quotation mark, we're going to make parentheses open and close. And then this arrow, right? This is just a dash and a greater than, and then this is a new item. And then inside of here, we have new item dot properties. You can see it already suggests this to us. So we can just hit the tab key to autocomplete. And that is all that we need. So this crazy thing is a supplier. Uh, overall, you, we don't need to focus on this too much. We just basically need this in order for these things to happen at the correct order. Uh, if you're like a complete beginner in Java, once again, I want to reiterate that Java knowledge is extremely important for this. So, you know, maybe you can get away with adding like one or two items. But after that, uh, I just highly recommend going through the Java introduction that I have or through any other, you know, Java introduction or any other uh, Java course or anything. Uh, absolutely no worries. But that would be that is just highly, highly suggested. Regardless of this, we have now added the item and it would already be inside of the game. However, number one, we've actually not added this to any type of creative mode tab. So we wouldn't even see this in the creative mode tab. And then also it wouldn't have a texture and it would not have a name. Let's first of all, add it to a creative mode tab. For this, we're going to go into the tutorial mode class. We can see there is already an existing method right here that's called add creative. And this is where we want to add this. So we want an if statement. We want to check basically the tab. So we want to get the tab that is currently being loaded in. And we want to then want to say creative mode tab dot. And let's say ingredients. If this is the case, then we want to add to this event.accept. And then this is just going to be mod items dot black opal. And that will add the black opal to the ingredients tab. And that is all that we need to add this to an already existing tab. But we're going to see in just a moment how we can add this to a custom tab and also how to make a custom tab. But first of all, let's finish the item because right now, like I said, it doesn't have a texture and it doesn't have a name. For this, we need to go into the resources folder and first of all, create a new directory called assets. Inside of there, we're going to make a new directory called 
corporeal mod. This has to be exactly your mod ID, very important. And then we're going to make four folders. We're already going to make the entire folder structure. Please pay attention. This is extremely important that this is all done correctly. The first one is going to be the block states folder right here in the tutorial mod folder. Another folder in the tutorial mod folder is going to be the lang folder, L-A-N-G. Then we're going to need another directory called models. And then last but not least, the last directory is going to be called texture. Take a note of this and make sure that your assets folder structure exactly like this. Otherwise, it will not work. Now, we also need four more folders, two in the models and two in the textures folder. So in the models folder, right click new directory called block. And then another one, right click new directory called item. And then the same goes in the textures folder. So right click new directory called block. And then one last time, textures new directory item. And this is the full folder structure for the assets folder. And this is all that we really need. Let's first of all start by looking at the lang folder. Here we want to create a new file called en underscore us.json. Written exactly like this. Very important that when you make these files that they're written exactly correctly, not with like an uppercase e or, you know, instead of a underscore, it's like a dash. It has to be exactly en underscore us.json. And this will add translation to certain key space. But this will add the translation for the English US version of English inside of the game. This is the default language that it should start with usually. And what we're going to do is we're going to translate this particular item right here, the black opal. And the way that we do this is we're going to give it the key. The key is item dot tutorial mod or whatever your mod ID is dot black underscore opal and then colon. And this is what it then will display inside of the game as and this is going to be black opal. So this is the translated name. So this key presents itself as follows, right? Item is just because this is an item, right? Uh, tutorial mod is just our mod ID. And then black opal is the name given right here. This is extremely important. And also to note, this name right here can also only include lowercase characters, underscore, dash, and numbers. No uppercase characters and no spaces. That's very important. However, this name, of course, can include spaces and uppercase characters because this is the localized name. If you want to add another language, then you just have to get the language code. So, for example, German would be de underscore de dot JSON. And then you could also translate that and that would also work then. So that is the en underscore use JSON file. We then need an item model file. So in the models item folder, right click new file. And this is going to be the black underscore opal dot JSON. Once again, the name of the file here has to correspond exactly to this name. Very important. And I will actually type out the contents of this file and then we'll go through and explain it. So we're going to need curly brackets and then we're going to have a parent. That parent is going to be Minecraft colon item slash generated comma then textures colon curly brackets later zero colon tutorial mod colon item slash black on or opal. So the first thing you're going to say is that look absolutely insane and crazy, but no worries at all. We're going to pick this apart. So the parent over here basically just determines how this item is going to be displayed. Item generated from Minecraft basically just means that it's going to take the 2D texture that we're going to provide. It's going to extrude this a little bit in this 3D way that basically Minecraft makes its items look. And that is just the default way basically items look. There are also other ones, but for the time being, we're just going to look at this one. And then we're defining the texture. Now, what's very important also here is that everything here is written correctly. It's not item with an uppercase. It's not generated with an uppercase G. It's not parent with an uppercase G. It's not parents, right? It is parent written exactly like this. It is textures plural. And then here it is layer zero written like this. So it's not uppercase L. It's lower. I've seen all of those before. So please make sure that this is written correctly. And then here we're defining what texture, where the texture is, right? So we're looking in the tutorial mod folder. So we're, we're in the assets folder. We're looking for tutorial mod. Then we're looking for the textures folder. We're then looking for the item folder. And we're looking for a black underscore opal.png. And that's all that this basically determines. So I'm just going to copy over the black opal PNG. This is going to be available to you as well. And that is pretty much all that there is to it. Now, the black opal has a name and it also has a texture determined by the item model JSON file. And this is actually all that we need to do to add our item. Let's go into the game, see if the item is there, and then we'll continue with a second item and a custom creative mode tab. When you're making a new world, this might be what is presented to you. That's totally fine. You can just hit yes and everything is going to be okay. All right, so we find ourselves in Minecraft and let's just see in the ingredients tab at the very bottom. There we go. We have the black opal. So it has been successfully added to the game exactly like we 
expect to. The name is correct. The texture is correct. So this is absolutely amazing. And now let's add a second item as well as a custom creative mode app. Right, to add a second item, we're going to go into the mod items class. And what we'll just do is we'll just duplicate this particular registry object. We're just going to select it, press control D, and then it has been duplicated. Now, of course, we need to change the name right here. So that's very important. In our case, this is going to be the raw underscore black opal. And then same changing the name here. Very important that this name changes because if it is the same, then your game will actually not launch correctly. So very important that this is unique. Now, first of all, then let's also add this to the ingredients over here. So this is going to be raw black opal. Beautiful. And then we also need all of the JSON files. So in the Ian underscore US JSON file, we can just duplicate this, add a comma over here, change the name here, and then change the name right here as well. And then it is going to be translated. When it comes to the item model JSON file, we can just copy it by dragging it into the same folder while holding control, then changing the name to raw underscore black opal and then changing this right here to what texture it basically looks at or what texture it basically points to, and then just copying over the raw black OD. And now the second item has been successfully added. Now, how about the creative mode tab? The creative mode tab is a bit more complicated, but also not really. So in the item package, right click new Java class called mod creative mode tabs. And what we're gonna do right here is something interesting. So we're gonna have a public static creative mode tab called, we're gonna call this the tutorial underscore tab. And now we're going to add something pretty crazy. Uh, now just bear with me. This is going to be pretty insane. So we're going to do an at above the class, as you can see. So at symbol mod. And see this one right here. Let's let's hit the tab key. We then want to delete the parentheses. We're going to hit dot event bus subscriber. Then make new parentheses. We're going to start typing in mod ID. You can see we're just going to once again autocomplete this with tab key tutorial mod mod ID comma bus equals mod dot event bus subscriber dot bus dot mod. Very important that this is done correctly. All of this is of course also available to you in the description below GitHub repository. And then we want to make a public static void register creative mode tab method with a creative mode tab event dot register called event. And then there we go. This needs to have another annotation, and that's the subscribe event annotation. Very important. So double, triple, quadruple check that this is all written correctly. And then inside of here, how do we actually create a new creative mode tab? Well, what we want to say is we want to say tutorial mode tutorial tab equals event dot register creative mode tab, making a new resource location. The resource location is going to be tutorial mod dot mod ID comma, tutorial underscore tab. And then after the first closing parentheses, comma, this is going to be, we're going to start typing builder and you can see it's going to create a consumer of builder. So we just hit the tab key once again. And then here we just want to say builder dot icon. So this is going to be the icon that is displayed in the creative mode inventory. This takes in a supplier. So once again, open and close parentheses, the arrow, this is pointing to a new item stack of mod items dot black opal dot get after the second close actually after the third closing parentheses dot title and this is going to be a component component dot translatable and this is going to need a key that key is going to be item group or a creative mode tab creative mode tab dot tutorial on tab let me actually reorganize this a little bit there you go and then at the end here just a semicolon so if this is a little bit crazy absolutely no worries overall the only thing we're doing here is we're setting the icon for the creative mode tab to our black opal and then we're also setting the name of the creative mode tab to a translatable component which is creative mode tab dot tutorial mode dot tutorial tab and we just want to copy this and actually translate this in our ian underscore us json file as well and we can then call this the tutorial tutorial tab for example there you go and then this can also be translated into different languages right now this method will be called automatically because of all of this craziness over here the event by subscriber and the subscribe event so this was, will all be done automatically and this is basically the way that we're going to do it if you want a second one right you can just add another one here and just duplicate this as well sign this and then just change the name and change the translation change the item here and then you have a second tab as well Time being we're totally fine with one tab and in our tutorial mode class what we can then do is we can also add this to the other tab so what we're going to do is we're just going to duplicate this if statement and instead of saying hey i want this if statement to look for the ingredients tab we're going to say mod creative mode tabs that tutorial tab 
and then this will add it to this tab as well. And there's no worries at all. We can actually add items to multiple tabs at the same time. This is for demonstration purposes. I think this is very sensible to do this. And that is actually all that we need to do. So this one is a little bit crazy because this is actually using some events over here. But don't worry too much about it. You know, this shouldn't be too crazy. Also, you always have the GitHub repository that you can take a look at and make sure that this is all written correctly. Regardless, let's go into the game and see if it works. All right, we found ourselves back in Minecraft again. And let's just see, first of all, the ingredients tab. We have both the black opal as well as the raw black opal. Absolutely freaking awesome. Let's actually do only one so we can see the beautiful textures here. And then we can also see the tutorial tab. Absolutely freaking awesome. It is already has a proper name, so the translation has worked. It has both of our items in it, and that is absolutely freaking awesome. And then we go. That's how easy it is to add an item and a custom creative mode tab to Minecraft. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. So, yeah.